The human spirit has always chafed at limits. We've broken free of gravity, pushed back darkness, and become the masters of our own destiny. But despite these accomplishments, our soul still yearns for something more. By embracing nature in its purest form, we're able to fulfill our deepest longing. This rejuvenates and inspires us. But it can also serve as a grim reminder that our mastery ends at the base of every mountain. Following your passion off a mountain peak can trigger an avalanche. They're caused by unstable layers of snow, wind, and temperature fluctuations. But the outcome is always the same. A sudden, awesome, and all too often, deadly release of crushing snow. In an instant, it transforms landscapes and lives. During an avalanche, snow particles move underneath the victim, churning them up and down in a terrifying spiral. That's why about half of all victims end up at the surface. But for the other half, burial often means death if survivors can't locate and dig them out in time. Victims have about an 18-minute window before they suffocate. Thanks to the widespread use of transceivers, probes, and shovels, some are rescued. But it is literally like finding a needle in a haystack and is dependent on other members of your party surviving. Tragically, an average of 15 Canadians die every year in avalanches. Last year alone, 29 people died, most of them youth. And since 1984, 230 have lost their lives. Exploring the backcountry is about more than just an adrenaline rush. It's about embracing life. So the human spirit will never be deterred by the inherent risks. Just imagine if you could activate every fiber of your being. Imagine if you could sharpen your senses and savor this landscape in all its majesty and glory. Imagine if you could do all this without risking your life. It is possible. Man's ingenuity has created the next generation of backcountry safety equipment, the ABS Avalanche Airbag System. It operates on the physics principle of inverse particles. This means larger particles rise to the surface, while finer ones settle to the bottom. In an avalanche, the system adds five cubic feet of volume to the victim. This equalizes their volume and density and floats them to the surface. And it works in both cold and dry conditions, as well as dense, wet snow. The Federal Institute for Snow and Avalanche Research in Davos, Switzerland, has conducted two series of tests. Both findings were astonishing. Every single inflated airbag was visible on the surface. Dummies without the ABS system were carried further down the avalanche. But most encouraging were the real-life cases reported during the past 12 years. Out of 44 documented cases involving 60 people, there was only one fatality. That's a 98% survival rate. This system is now widely used throughout Europe. And in January 2003, the IATA approved its transportation on airlines worldwide.
If you'd like to find out more about the ABS Avalanche airbag system, check out the website.